Hi, it's David Ostriker, April 24th, uh, getting ready for the final day of Pesach and then Shabbos. Uh, for those of you outside of Israel, the final two days of Pesach. What's special about these last days? Many things are special, of course, right? But I want to talk about the seventh day of Passover. This is the day in which the sea split, the, the Red Sea, the Yamsuf, the Reed Sea split. And it, we're told that uh, there were two walls of water, one on the right side, one on the left side. And through the center, the Jews walked on dry land. What does that mean? Right. It's repeated twice. Wall of water on the right, wall of water on the left, and the Jews walked through on dry land. What is it telling us? Well, there are many views on this thing. And I'm going to come to an answer to, for you in a second. But I want to point out that behind me is the Iria of Carmiel, the city hall of Carmiel. Right? And I'm waiting for Rebetzin to arrive back from a visit to the Golan Heights. Um, she went with a trip with her shul, our shul, to the Golan. It's what Israelis do during these uh, days off. Uh, between the beginning and the end of Pesach. They love to travel, they go to places. Uh, so Yelena chose a trip to the Golan. And I'm waiting for her bus to come back now. Uh, okay, so let's go back to this. What does it mean that there's a wall of water on the right and a wall of water on the left, and the Jews went through on dry land? And more than that, the Torah uses the same expression twice. On the right and on the left, dry land in the center. Right. And that they were protected somehow from the right and the left. How is it that they were protected? Well, our sages say they were protected on one side by Torah and the other side by prayer. That is to say, on one side by learning and the other side by belief and faith. Emunah. What does it mean to us? I would venture to say, for us, it means we want to take a center path. We want to follow the advice of Rambam, the golden mean, the golden center path. Not an extreme on the left, not an extreme on the right. Be protected by staying in that middle area. That's Rambam's recommendation in all things and certainly it applies to the story of the Jews crossing the Red Sea successfully. We know that at the end, Moshe raised up his hands and the sea came back in and drowned their enemies, the Egyptians. And so it was. So maybe the lesson of the Red Sea, of the splitting of it, is to stay on the center path, not to be an extremist either way. Wishing you well for the last two days of Pesach, wherever you may be, and in Israel for the last day of Pesach, and the Shabbos that follows Akremot. Um, and uh, not much else to say, still waiting for the Rebetzin. It's David Ostreicher here in Carmiel. Wishing you well. Hag Sameach. Shabbat Shalom.